USD prices in commercial banks increased simultaneously this week following the world's upward trend. This week, the USD price in banks increased sharply. For example, Vietcombank currently buys USD by transfer at 24,580 VND and sells at 24,940 VND, an increase of 140 VND in buying and 180 VND in selling compared to the end of last week. Similarly, Exim Bank buys USD at 24,550 VND and sells at 24,930 VND an increase of 110 to 160 VND. On the contrary, the free USD price decreased after a week when it was bought at 25,100 VND and sold at 25,200 VND. Compared to the end of last week, the free USD price decreased by 120 VND. A few days ago, the State Bank, Ho Chi Minh City branch issued a document requesting authorized credit institutions, signing agency contracts with enterprises with foreign exchange desks to strengthen inspection and supervision of foreign exchange activities. All foreign currency collected and exchanged from customers and people is sold to credit institutions according to the contract and regulations of the state bank. This agency also requires credit institutions to periodically report the inspection results once a month and send them before the 10th of each month, the euro price this week, on the contrary, turned down. Specifically, Vietcombank bought euros by transfer at 26,864 VND and sold at 28,055 VND down 169 to 176 VND after a week. Similarly, the Japanese yen also decreased when Vietcombank bought at 163.16 VND and sold at 172.66, 2 to 2.17 VND lower than last weekend. The world USD price recorded the strongest weekly increase since September 2022. The USD index reached 102.49 points, up 2.38 points compared to the end of last week. Notably, the greenback recovered strongly after the US employment report in September was better than expected. That made investors reduce their predictions that the US Federal Reserve Fed would continue to cut interest rates aggressively, which was the reason for the sharp decline of the USD before. The USD also benefited this week thanks to the demand for safe haven assets due to concerns about escalating conflicts in the Middle East.